Hello friends, welcome to Audhesh Academy. Friends, we are going to talk about the voice of conscious, which is often called inner voice also. Sometimes it is said to be the voice of God speaking from within us. And we will also learn about crisis of conscience. Now these are the questions which have been asked in 2013. So let's first read the questions which has been asked. So the first question was, what do you understand by the term voice of conscience? How do you prepare yourself to heed the voice of conscience? The second question is, what is meant by crisis of conscience? Narrate one incident in your life when you are faced with such a crisis and how you resolve the same. Now both these questions are pertaining to the voice of conscience. Now what is the voice of conscience? So let's understand the question and let's try to write the answer of the question. So first part is what is the voice of conscience or what is conscious itself? The conscious is defined as the part of your mind that tells you whether what you are doing is morally right or wrong. We must have realized whenever we try to do something wrong like speaking uh, untruth, speaking some sort of lies or uh, somebody try to be unfaithful to the uh, spouse or uh, you know or trying to cheat somebody or trying to become corrupt or anything wrong. Whenever we try to do that there is something from us from inside which tells us that don't do it this is wrong. That is basically called voice of conscience. At the same time Sometimes when we do the right things like helping somebody, speaking truth, taking a courageous decision or anything which is considered to be good, then we feel very good about it. There is something complimentary coming from inside. And so that is again a voice of conscience. So our voice of conscience tells us what is right and what is wrong. But the question is that if there is a voice of conscience, why everybody does not do the right thing and why everybody does not avoid doing the wrong things. So let's understand this also. So voice of conscience basically correspond to the inner voice that judges our behavior. You judge your own behavior and find out whether what you are doing is correct or not. So voice of conscience is a judge within which judges our own actions. It is also sometimes called the inner voice that we hear from within particularly when we are doing to do something wrong which is unethical or immoral. Our consciousness starts developing from our childhood when we start learning about the concept of good and evil. Since our childhood, our parents tell us this is right, this is wrong, do it, don't do it. Like for example, whenever we speak lie and our parents come to know about it, they tell us don't do it, lying is wrong, we are always encouraged to uh, speak truth and so on. So since our childhood, we develop the sense as to what is right and what is wrong. So this development of the uh, uh, this conscious is actually starting from our childhood. Now our voice of conscious actually help us to follow the right path because whenever we do something wrong, this inner voice warns us and advises us to do the right thing. And it is because of that we do the right thing. And suppose we force ourselves to do the wrong thing. In that situation what happens that we feel guilty about it. Even though nobody comes to know that we have done something wrong, but still we feel guilty about it, we feel pained because we have done something morally wrong. Voice of conscience was the source of ethical decision making by many great leaders, many great thinkers including Mahatma Gandhi. Mahatma Gandhi was always guided by his voice of conscience and whenever he has to take uh, an important decision, he will always consult the voice of conscience and then only he will take that decision. Let us now come to the second part of the question. How do you prepare yourself to heed the voice of conscience? Whenever we follow our voice of conscience, our inner voice or voice of conscience becomes strong. At the same time, if we ignore our voice of conscience, this voice becomes weaker and slowly we stop listening about it. For example, if you do something wrong, the first time the voice is very strong. But suppose you do it ag again and again and again. In that situation what happens that your voice will become weaker and weaker and weaker and gradually you will stop hearing that voice. And that is the reason that criminals often lose their inner voice because they keep doing the wrong things. At the same time when we do 
the right thing and listen to the voice of uh, our conscious which is telling us to do the right thing in that situation our inner voice will become stronger and stronger and gradually we will be taking more and more ethical and moral decision and that is going to give us the true happiness and joy in our life and it will connect us to the world and it will make us ethical and moral person let us now learn about the crisis of conscience we have earlier learned about the concept of ethical dilemma we know that sometimes we are in a situation when we have two paths to follow two ethical paths to follow and we cannot follow both path if you follow one path automatically you cannot follow other path and this situation is called ethical dilemma in the same way the crisis of conscious happens when there are two contradictory inner voices which are guiding us and we cannot follow both the paths simultaneously so when our voice of conscious shows two different paths which contradict each other then that creates a crisis of conscience if you follow one voice it defies the other and there is no possibility of following both the voices and that is basically the reason we face the crisis of conscience and in this situation we have to choose one and discard another now in this question you have been asked to provide an example so for example if suppose you want to marry a boy or girl and your parents don't agree because of caste or religion or any other reasons and they want you to marry to some other person now in that situation what happens that there is a crisis of conscience because on one side your heart says that you should marry the person whom you really love and whom you have promised to marry on the other side you also want to heed the uh, direction of your parents heed the wishes of your parents because ultimately the parents have brought you up and you must obey them and so you face a crisis of conscience in this particular situation let's take the second example suppose you are against the dowry system and you don't want to take any dowry but you have an younger sister and she also has to be married now your parents don't have the resources to give any dowry to her or to manage the expenditure of her marriage now in that situation unless you take dowry you cannot get your sister married in a proper place now in that situation what happens that there is a crisis of conscience because on one side there is a principle that you should not take dowry on the other side there is a life of your sister and therefore you are in the crisis of conscience now in the same way every person faces such crisis of conscience you can take any example from your life and then you can write this answer so friends i hope that you understood this question please practice this question in the practice queue uh, session and if there is any doubt you can post in the doubt section thank you very much for watching this lesson